Hello, my name is Pavel Blinov and I'll present our project GigaPeft Multimodal Medical Assistant. It is the work done with my colleagues from Sber AI Lab. Right away, let's have a look at our GigaPeft Assistant. First of all, it's worth to mention that our assistant have two modes of interaction. The first is that you currently see is called Primary Free Communication Mode, in which the GigaPeft initiates and manage the dialogue with a person trying to fulfill the key scenario that is collecting analysis and complaints. And the dialogue history is saved on the left side of the screen. As you can see, we adopt the wireless remote for voice communication. The assistant replies are also voiced with the ability to interrupt for better experience and speed iterations. As you can see on the top right of the screen, this mode is also permanently detect the basic parameters of GigaPeft's counterpart, such as gender, age, emotions, body mass index, and diabetes risk. Apart from the primary mode, the technology implements the RPPG scanning mode. It can be activated by approaching to a sufficiently close distance to the camera. In this mode, the assistant percepts a person's face and slightest skin color change due to the blood pulsation. As a result of measurement, the pulse wave is extracted and its derived medical parameters are calculated. It extends the parameters set even further and boosts awareness of assistant, which allows to provide more plausible and concrete answers. Let's have a look at some more supporting example answers. Here is the question about stress, but as we know it's in the normal range, the GigaPeft gives such a specific answer. Here we intentionally increase the heart rate by performing high intensity exercise and try to ask about more physical load. And as the pulse out of range for the observable person, the assistant provides negative answer. Here is the question about obesity, which GigaPeft can handle precisely. Let's take a look at one more live dialogue with GigaPeft. I have a high level of stress. High levels of stress can affect heart rate. If your pulse is within the normal range and only increased during physical activity or stressful situations, this is normal. However, if you explicit feelings in each chest or other symptoms such as dizziness of breath, it is recommended to consult a doctor. How can I relax? Relaxation can be achieved in various ways, for example, through deep breathing, meditation, yoga, or just a walk in the fresh air. It is important a method that suits you best and practice it regularly. Can I drink coffee? Coffee can have a stimulating effect on the heart and increase heart rate. If you notice that your heart rate rise after drinking coffee, it may be worth limiting its consumption or replacing it with another drink. However, if your heart rate is within normal limits and does not cause discomfort, there is no need to worry. Is my heart rate normal? Yes, your pulse is within the normal range. A minimum can take it a normal heart rate. If you do not experience discomfort or unpleasant sensations in your chest, there is no concern. The pulse vacancy library depending on various factors, including physical activity, emotional state, and overall well-being. It is important to remember that regular checks of your pulse can help you monitor your health, but if you have any doubts or concerns, it is best to enter. Thank you. These examples provided to demonstrate the potential benefits of inclusion different modalities when building medical diagnostic assistant. We already implemented the user identification, which opens the perspective to close integration with a patient electronic health record. This greatly extends the diagnostic ability of AI assistants and allows to provide a better service for the patients. More details about the GigaPeft you can find in our paper. Thanks for watching and have a great one.